Hello everyone. This here arrived today by mail. This is the BenQ Screen Bar Monitor Light. As the name suggests, this is a light that goes on top of your monitor and it will illuminate the area in front of it. Um, full disclosure here, this unit was sent to me by BenQ. They reached out to me a couple of weeks back asking me if I would want to try out their screen bar and maybe write a blog or do a YouTube video on it. And I happily accepted that offer. So full disclosure here, but one of the reasons why I happily accepted that offer was because I am a huge fan of BenQ monitors and a long-term user of BenQ monitors myself. In fact, the monitor that is right here in the studio is a BenQ monitor that I own and I bought myself five years ago. Uh, all the photographic work that I am doing and that I've done and you can see on my Instagram channel were edited on this monitor here and all the YouTube videos that you will find on my channel were edited on this monitor. So I love it. It's my workhorse and my go-to screen basically for all my creative work. So I thought this might be a nice addition to my setup here, talking about my setup here. For those who already know my channel for a while, you have noticed that I moved to a new space in April of this year. So this is this new space. Um, it's not 100% uh, set up yet, but I think this could be one of those puzzle pieces that were missing and that will complete my setup here at this new studio. But before we talk a little bit more about the screen bar, let's first do an unboxing. As you've just seen, I had to detach these panels from the monitor, which protect the monitor or the screen from incoming light from the sides or above when doing photo editing. Most photo monitors have these kind of like side and top panels. Um, so that is a little bit unfortunate, especially because this is a BenQ monitor and a BenQ screen bar. But I guess this screen bar was not meant to be mounted on a screen that has these protectors. So just so that you know, if you want to use this light, you have to get rid of these protectors. Let me put them aside. Other than that, mounting the screen bar was really, really easy. So it has a counterweight in the back that holds the screen bar in place and you just basically clip it to the monitor. No screwing or anything involved. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And it's uh, sitting there with very, very stable. Um, the screen bar itself is really easy to use. So it basically has four buttons. On the left, we have the manual dimmer where you can adjust the brightness. Then we have the button to adjust the color temperature, followed by the button to enable the auto dimmer. And last but not least, the power button. I myself love the auto dimmer function of the screen bar because I have various light situations here at the studio. And so the screen bar can determine the optimal brightness itself. It has a light sensor that measures the room brightness and then sets the brightness accordingly. And I love it. It's very, very convenient. Obviously, you can set up the brightness of the screen bar yourself manually as well with that left button. Um, the color temperature function is very interesting. I was very surprised to see that there is a color temperature function. What that means is that you can set the color temperature which fits best to your room or your liking. So it is a very, very smooth transition from a very blue and cold light to very, very warm tones. I personally love the warmer tones better. It suits me and the way how I like to work a lot better. But again, you have full freedom here to set the color, to color temperature according to your personal taste. 
It's pretty cool to see how the screen bar is shaping the cone of light in front of it and how it's drawing this sharp edge beneath the monitor. And it's amazing to see it in action, how it doesn't cast light on the screen itself. It really just illuminates the area in front of it, basically where you are working, where the keyboard is and a mouse and maybe some paper if you're working on something or reading something. Nothing is cast on the monitor itself. And I wanted to find out where is this, where does it draw the line, right? From where, where does the shadow or the shade begin where it protects the monitor itself? And so I took this BenQ um, service information, basically manual that was with it. And I, I moved it towards the screen to see at what point it cuts off the light. And it was really amazing to see that and to see also how the cone is formed. This is all I wanted to share in today's video about the BenQ screen bar. Thank you so much BenQ for providing me this unit and letting me try it out. Talking about trying it out, in fact, the last couple of hours before shooting this video, I was using the screen bar to illuminate my desk here at the studio while editing all the B-roll that you've seen here in the video and at the same time working on my script. So finally, the desk in front of me was lit perfectly and I could work on the screen at the same time without any annoying reflections. So if I wanna sum it up, I must say this is a very simple yet brilliant device and a perfect, perfect complement to my studio setup here a true joy to use and also very easy on the eyes. And I'm looking forward to work with this a lot more hours now in these dark winter months. If there's anything that I would critique about this device, it would only be the fact that I would have to take off my side and top panels of my photo monitors, which are there to protect from incoming light during the day, especially. So this is an either or situation, either the screen bar or those panels. Um, I think that's a pity, but I mean, this is uh, just maybe worth mentioning. Other than that, nothing to critique about the screen bar or the mounting mechanism as such. Let me know in the comment section below what you think or if you have any other questions with regarding to this device. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm now looking forward of, uh, to using this light a couple of more hours to do the final cut of this video and uploading it to YouTube. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.